everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a Walmart and Dollar Tree haul. Please ignore my kitty cats in the background. They are having their zoomies right now. So if you hear any crashing <laughs> or loud noises, it's them. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone we're gonna start with walmart i'm very excited so there, there will be a food slash stationary haul so let's start with the food first okay so the first item i purchased was three of these black cherry energy uh water flavoring we love this one we love the cherry flavor i like the pomegranate and the fruit punch flavor um and these you just put as much as you like depending how sweet you, you like your drinks the awesome thing about this one is that it's zero calories see it says right there zero calories per serving and you basically just open this lid and squish it and the liquid will come out uh this is the great value brand so the walmart brand what i love about this is that they come in so many flavors you want strawberry lemonade they have strawberry lemonade you want something for working out like this is an energy one they have working out ones they have light ones they have regular ones and they even have sugar-free ones which is awesome I th is this one sugar-free i don't think so but let's see let's see sugar zero yeah so this one's also sugar-free which is really cool since um isabella is a diabetic so we mainly drink sugar for your light drinks um the second item i purchased was these airheads package packaging what i love about this one is it has two openings so, um i think this is meant for like selling because it has, there's a price and the way that these openings work i feel like it's for display purposes so the first opening is the back so you just, where the lighter uh, blue is, you basically open it right here, pull it up, and just have it like this. Or, if you stand it up like this, I'm going to tilt it so you guys can see better. Um, it has a little door, and you just open it, and, and the candy is there. So you just grab whichever flavor you want, and when you're done you just close it right now it's really stuffed so it's not going to close completely but it still stays closed for the most part um and then as you uh eat them it'll be able to close well so i really like this following that i also uh, love this snack because as well as working from home now most of the um food items that we get are mainly snacks because um, Isabella's working, so we eat our meals together. So, I love this snack. It's filling. It's a filling snack. And if you don't know what this is, these are the pretzel nuggets. So, basically, it's a pretzel shell. And inside is peanut butter. But it's so good. So good. And then, lastly, for food. I got Yoohoo's. As you guys know, I, I, I like Yoohoo's. Um, I... In my last purchase, I bought these uh, cup, uh, what are they called? Juice boxes, as well as uh, cans. Isabella really liked the cans. I prefer the juice boxes. This time, I tried to buy some, some of the cans. But they were sold out, so we just got the juice boxes. And then, as you guys know, I love my gummy, warm, sour, and sweet ones. Unfortunately, when I ordered it, I forgot to put no suggestions. So that means if the candy was not there to not replace it with something else, I forgot to mark that. So they gave me another option because they were sold out. And it's these gummy rainbow worms. Um, they're not sour, so they're just sweet. What I find interesting is that they're thicker, but, they're, but they look very squishy. Like a lot more squishier than the other ones. I don't know why. So I'm tempted to try a pack. I mean, I do like regular gummy worms. And what I'll probably do with, because I bought four of these. So what I'll do with another one is I'll probably gift it or 
yeah probably gifted and then if i like then i'll eat the other one this popped up as a suggestion and it's lucky charms marshmallows i am so excited to try them i can literally smell the marshmallow um tell me why by accident i accidentally ordered two i meant to get one but i have two so i'll probably be adding them to my um warm drink so now i'm gonna do the stationery for starters i got these sharpie felt tips i thought i could incorporate these into and and see if anybody would like these these will probably go inside my mystery uh kits anyways so i thought i've heard really good things about these so i'll incorporate them the second thing i got was a energel <sighs> sorry i'm breathless for some reason my asthma is acting up okay these are the pentel energel gel pens i think I think they're gel pens. Yeah, gel pens. Sorry. Anyways, so when I picked up my order, because I ordered and then picked it up, the blue pen was missing. The purple pen had spilled ink all over the packaging, and that's how they gave it to me. And I was like, absolutely not. I spoke with an employee. I'm like, why did somebody package this? Usually, I'm not a Karen. I I don't go and speak to a manager, but I just asked an employee, why was this package this way? There's a pen missing and there's ink everywhere. Luckily, no ink got in any of my other products, but that could have been a possibility. So they called an, uh, a manager and the manager came and he's like, I need to know who packaged this order because that's not right. So if that person got in trouble, I'm sorry, but that's not right to do if somebody's paying full price for an item and it's being you know and, and they give you a really bad item knowing that it's damaged so not to rent sorry okay and then i got these rsvp uh pentel pens i love these they are my go-to pens i have colored right now in, in my stock so i wanted to add just some black ones I feel like my prettiest writing is with these pens. So I just thought, why not add some of the classics? And then I got some of the Midliner highlighters in, um, here's the back, and these colors in like a pastelist, past good Lord, I cannot talk, pastel colors. Following along with that is the Paper Mate Flare Felt Pens. And then last two items, I purchased these. I do not know how to pronounce that brand. I'm just gonna zoom it in. For... So if you know how to pronounce that brand, let me know. But this, I've heard this is a really good brand. I will test them out myself and see the quality. But I think this would be a nice addition to the pack the mystery bin and then lastly i got the super tip um markers from crayola these are super good love the quality and i have the 100 pack myself love using them and i thought the 20 pack has more colors it'll be more fun to add to the mix so that concludes my mystery box haul and then an item that i purchased for myself was white out because uh some of you guys know if you guys have been checking my instagram i started bullet journaling if you would like for me to talk more about that let me know um what i like about bullet journaling is that there's really not that many rules to it you can customize it to your liking. So I did an oopsie when I was working on my monthly spread. I confused the month of June for the month of July. So 
I filled in the the days for June, even though I was working on the calendar for July. So I bought the whiteout to fix that error. Okay, and that concludes all of the Walmart haul. So I'm gonna put this all away and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back with Dollar Tree haul. So right now I'm working on house cleaning and um, I was at the store and I saw these Lysol, I, I bought a four, these Lysol um, disinfectant wipes. And what I like about these is that they come in pouches so you can just throw them in your purse, have them in your car, um, keep a small pack like in your restroom if you want to wipe something down real quick i love these um what i mainly like to use these for is for dust like for uh, dust cleaning i picked up this um vaseline um chapstick it says it's tinted so it has a rose tint like a rosy pink tint okay Next item I, I purchased were these composition notebooks. I purchased two of these and I noticed they have these and actually are these smaller? They are by like a little bit. Let's see the measurements in the back. No, the measurements not in the back, but it's very little, but there's a difference. I want to know what colors are in here. Okay. Um, this has purple. Ooh, like a baby blue, aqua blue, and yellow. And then the inside is like a typical composition book. So that's really nice. Let's open this one. Okay, we've opened it. So I'm gonna see the other colors. A peachy pink ooh, a mint blue and then a slightly darker blue not sure if you can tell the differences Hang on, let me do it like this not sure if you can tell the differences but it's very slight um, but yeah I mean they're your typical composition book notebook so I mean they're very cute I think these would be so cute for junk journaling I don't know I might do like a little junk journaling kit and include these as uh include these as freebies I went to the hardware uh, station and I bought this I think it was what's it called the paint scraper yeah, a paint scraper. Um, and I have a couple of stickers that are, um, what's the word? Stuck. And I've tried to peel them and they ripped. So I'm going to try this and see if it comes off. If not, they have another different one that has, it's kind of like a sharper blade. I'll try that. If that doesn't work. Let me know any recommendations for getting stickers off things because I have like three stickers I need to uh, get out or off surfaces. So any advice, any tips on stickers, removal, let me know. Okay, and then I also purchased these treat bags. I really love the pattern. I thought it, it was so cute. The like rain, it's like kind of like a feminine rainbow kind of, of deal going on, so I really like that. And then in the party aisle, I also purchased these thank you cards because um, I've been getting so many orders lately and I'm out, and I love this like party theme going on with the card and the um, treat bags, so I thought it, it'd be a nice uh, duo with them and then in the stationary aisle I found these beautiful um, pouches so 
this one is super cute and this one says love which i love and the pattern is so pretty and that's how the back looks and i just thought too cute here's the second one it says beautiful and this one has like a more pink not pink a purple and like a lavender and blue rather than this one has like a more like a rosy and then like leaves so i am very happy with um these um i i like getting different um patterns when it comes to pouches because my mystery pouches i want them all to be different i don't want repeats um i'm thinking about purchasing like bulk and designing them myself like adding some vinyl designs to it or something i do have a cricut so in the future i think i might even do like custom names for free and in the kits we'll see about that i got more of these paper mate pens they write really nice they last a long time and they're just very convenient i like adding these to the kits they are really good quality and for a dollar 25 really good deal and then i got these stylus pens i got them in three different colors usually they have four but which is blue but these are the only three colors i've i found so, so i got two of each which I I love these pens. I think the quality is really good and they fit so perfectly with the kits. Okay, so yeah, super happy with these. And then lastly, stationary wise, I got this a Sharpie. I needed a, a really thin tip for my um, bullet journaling. So I thought this was a really good find for a dollar. I'm not sure how much they cost at other stores, but I just thought it was pretty convenient to find at Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to put everything away. Okay, I am back. And upcoming next is going to be some food items. So, the first thing I got, it's funny because I literally purchased these and Isabella saw them and just started eating them. And I'm like, homegirl, these are for my home. She was like, yeah, but, you know, I need a taste test in case they're poisonous. So, okay, they're Isabella approved. They're not poisonous. They're really good. These are called the Rips. I love these because they are technically, like, licorice, but sour. If you like sour candy as much as I do, but a little bit of sweetness in there, these are super good. And for those of you who have asked me, because there has been... This one person who I think is very concerned about how much candy I get. Um, please know that this candy lasts me about two, three months. Yeah, I'm always buying candy, but I'm not eating candy every single day. It's mainly when, let's say I'm going to eat in two hours. So I'm getting a little, a, a few bites here and there before I eat in like two hours, just to time me over before I actually eat a meal. I'm not like eating these every single day, bags at a time. I appreciate everybody's concern, but I like, I don't eat them that often. And if I do, it's just a couple bites here, a couple bites there, not all at once. And, and usually me and Isabella share a bag within like three days. So, but another bag, that she broke into that is also Isabella approved is these tro I think they're called trolleys and these are the yeah, let me straighten it up these are the sour bite crawlers so they're like little gummy worms and they're very flavored these are super good if you like strawberry berries any flavor like that these are super good pick one up give it a try they're not that sour so if you don't like super soury things but more on the sweet side definitely give those a try i have not had laffy taffies in a hot minute so this one's a four pack it has strawberry banana which i've never had um green apple and um i'm blanking grape 
So I purchased that. I, also, I have not had Sour Patch Kids in years. So I, I just purchased the pack to see if I still like them. If I don't, then I'll just give them to Is uh, Isabella. And then I bought two high chews because I know I like these. The reason why I do not pick high chews that often, I don't eat just one. Ignore my cats. Sorry, guys. But I don't eat just one pack. I eat like four or five, the whole bag, if possible. I purchased four of these Milano dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And these are super good. They are kind of filling, which I like because you just eat a couple and they're really filling. And I got these mainly for Isabella because she likes munching on cookies. Um she gets hungry so my favorite right here actually I, I lied this is my favorite and i'm gonna tell you why i'm literally stacking everything because i don't want to clear it right now because that takes time but okay boston baked beans hear me out beans coated in hard candy but, the, but they're not hard like um What's the word? Like, oh my God. Like Jolly Ranchers, not that kind of hard candy. It's crunchy candy, not the kind that sticks to your teeth either, which is amazing. Very sweet, and there's peanut inside it. You're right, peanut. So it's covered in candy inside peanut. I like these because they're not too sweet. They are in between sweet and I feel like the peanut balances out pretty well. I purchased two of these because I love them and they last me a long time, the boxes. Okay? So, I purchased, um, I think I purchased six of these because me and Isabella split them. Yeah, so Donald Duck apple juice is my favorite. Highly recommended. I found this two-pack at Dollar Tree I'm gonna and what I like about these is that they're kind of like restaurant style and they're stackable so it is these two cups they're stackable they're average size like for an actual drink so and they're clear so I thought these would be super cute for me to have drinks if I were to need cups and lastly, it was more of an emergency necessity because your girl has curly hair and the amount of times my ponytail holders have broken has been, it's, it's just a tragic story. So I saw these and they're super stretchy and it doesn't seem like it breaks, like it seems like it's sewed all the way. Or there's no seam so and they, and they kind of roll so so they're not gonna pull your hair or anything like that and they're super stretchy look at that so and then they come back to its normal size this one has 18 18 for a dollar 25 tell me that's not a good deal okay guys that concludes my haul I am so excited for you guys to tell me how this video turned out what you guys think about my editing changes that i've made i've been practicing my editing watching a, sh a bunch of videos um trying to um educate myself and even paying for some classes things like that so hopefully this video turns out a little bit better if there's anything that you would like to see different let me know and i will try to um change things to uh better your liking i will see you next time thank you so much and have a great day